This handsome greystone building was once the guest quarters for Lord Shaughnessy, whose manor was across the street. Nowadays, of course, it's the Canadian Centre for Architecture. And one of the things that Patricia loved about the apartment when she first saw it was its sense of history and the architectural details. She has furnished it with antiques throughout, but she's also done a great deal of renovating because the building was not in good shape when she bought it. The kitchen is beside the front door and it's a mix of old and new. It has an exposed brick wall, modern cabinets and quartz countertops. The stairway leads to the second story, there are three altogether, and each floor has a modern bathroom. This is a second bedroom and these are souvenirs from Patricia's travels. She used to be in the airline business but nowadays she imports New World wines, fine liquors and beers and the apartment is an ideal space for entertaining. Her own bedroom is in the top story and it's painted this dazzling canary yellow. It's a really bright cheery space especially with the white accents and when the light pours into the window the room positively glows. Patricia used to have a dog but nowadays her only pets are stuffed toys. This is looking through to the third bedroom. Here Patricia has displayed photographs of her grandfather and other members of her family. The winding staircase leads up to the roof where there is a terrace but it's really more of a roof garden because it's filled with flowers. Patricia loves gardening and this space compensates for the fact that she doesn't have a backyard. <laughs> 